I'm just going to cover some ground that I went over last week, uh, last video rather, um, but I also want to have a look at a new way to count this to the upside and I want to justify it using other markets as well. Um, I think it's quite interesting. So uh, let's go in and have a look. So first of all, I've got this as a very bullish count as one and two here and one and two here. And uh, my reasoning for this to move up higher here is really based on the uh, US dollar. Um, because that's uh, in a very weak situation. So we can also have a look at that as well. Now, um, so yeah, a bullish m pattern here. The, the, the only thing that could trip it up is we could look at all of this as an A wave to here and a B wave up here and then a C wave and have another correction here. But I don't think it's the case. So uh, on the, uh, we'll just cruise in and we'll just, really drilling here from where we left off last uh, video and uh, we just go to the daily chart first. So we were looking at it just being cautious of wave one or wave A and wave two and B. And then we could look at this in a couple of different ways, all of this move here, right? We went through all of that. Um, so what I want to do is I just want to cut to the chase and go to the 1000 tick uh, chart and just resolve this, um, not resolve it, just sort of build on what we went through last time. So from a daily chart, we're going to drill right into the uh, 1000 tick chart and I'll just bring in some more data for that. Maybe two is enough, not quite, maybe 10 will get us there. So we we're looking at this as wave one here and back for wave two here. And then one, two, three, four, five for one here and back for two here. And then we were um, working through this particular pattern here as an impulse wave here, a corrective wave here of wave one of number three here, blue three. So oops, Daisy, that should be a 26, five, close enough for the time being. Um, so that would from blue two here to blue three, which is not up there, but um, uh, that's okay. So one and two here, and then we'd be looking up for wave three. So let's just build this in a little bit further here with this three, um, four, and let's just drag that third wave in here as well. One, two, three. Um, so we're looking for five waves to the upside. So we're looking for um, wave blue wave three up there that should be further up really but we'll just keep it there for the time being and um yeah so from this wave two here we're going up to wave three here so we're looking for five waves up there so we're looking for one and two in here for this and then wave three to the upside and then wave four over here and wave five over here. So anyway, you get the kind of picture here that we're looking at. So one and two here and three here. So this will be this one here, wave four, five, shouldn't be too far up. Um, yeah, so last time we spoke to, we were looking at, um, we had this wave three in here. We're looking, we have this wave four. I think, I think we're looking for wave five of three and four. So that's all played out quite nicely across this level. Um, so that should be pushing up from here into uh, wave five of three here uh, and four and and uh, and so on. So, and then continue to build to the upside there. So that's really where we left off last time. And Really, that's, you know, all a bit of a moonshot. So that's uh, all pretty exciting. And uh, what I want to do now, though, is I want to um, look at a different picture. I want to, um, so just going back to the, the daily chart here for a moment, just, just, uh, Bear with me, I'll put this on a smaller time frame and we'll go into one day here just to pick up where we left off. So this situation here has, you know, wave one here, wave two here, and then we're going up for wave three here. So this will be wave three up here, and then we would have wave four here, and then we would have wave five uh, up here. And that wave five up here would make wave one at that point. So we would go five waves up for three, four, and five, and then have an ABC correction at this point. 
and then move up from from there. So that would be the the bullish count at that point. So that's fine. We can you know we'll play that. Um, but I was thinking that uh, I might need to rearrange this here, and I want to explain why. Now it looks a little bit odd, but I want to give my reasonings for that. So. On this particular chart here, we've got the low in place. We've still got our wave one here and two here, but I want to put wave three here and wave four here, and then have one, two, three, four, five here for wave five of one. Now, this wave three here is shorter than wave one here, so that means that wave five up here needs to be shorter still. So I'm thinking around the 34 to 35 sort of area, um, if even that, you know, so maybe 33 to 34, yeah. Um, so from this wave three here to four here, one and two will go to three, four, five, and we'll finish here. And then we'll have a larger correction of an ABC correction um, at this point. <coughs> now, having this uh, five wave move up off the low here, there's many markets that uh, have done this move to the, uh, to the upside. And uh, we could pretty much just, I think, ought to start with gold, really. It's good enough as any. There's many of them. Some of them got different sort of dates, but and depending on how they're bobbled along the bottom here, so to speak. But um, basically that October, November, um, it kind of really boils down to the 28th of September um, here. So um, on this low here this low 20 28th yeah so this low is quite significant here so in this case with us spot gold here i'm also looking at it in the same sort of way as well um don't worry about the blue count too much but basically the one and the two and the three and the four and the five up here for wave one and then back for wave two so that would be the same as bitcoin moving to the upside but the reverse of this the 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 thing that's driving this to a point is that this 28th of September low here, it's got to do with the US dollar here. So the US dollar here, the top for the US dollar is on the 28th of September as well. So what we're looking for here is one, two, three, four, five to the downside. So we're not, obviously it needs to make a new low here. It'll be, a, this is a CFD, so it's at 10,000, but uh, the 100 for the, for the Dixie here. So, you know, this needs to come down further, but it's nearly, it's nearly finished, you know. When it does finish here, then we're going to see this wave two here right so this wave two that's going to play out here if i can reverse that back with gold for a moment don't forget they turned on the same date here and it's going up we can look at it as wave one and pulling back for wave two at that point so um you know the opposite to the opposite to the us dollar here would be the euro dollar so we can look at that first so the opposite here would be the same thing as well here. So we can also look at that September date here, which is the 28th. So we can also look at five waves moving up here and then an ABC. And this is the same for, well, the Sterling's just sitting here, I'll use that, but we've got wave four here going up for wave five to wave one here. I need to resolve some of this mess in here that I've got to kind of get my head around and um, don't f fully grasp it yet at this particular point. But we've got the Sterling, we've got the Euro dollar um, <laughs> moving up into, uh, up into that space. Uh, um, you know, at the same time, you know, if you're speaking of the European markets, We've also got the 28th down here as well, you know, that low on that date for the DAX to be moving up through here. Um, so looking for it to top out as one, two, three, four, five, getting close to the top here. So we could probably even do the same for uh, the NASDAQ as well um, in all of that and the S&P. So I won't dr drag it out any more than uh, at this at, for this stage here, but you kind of get the message that any of those markets that have turned up from that September, October low here, um, they're, they're being basically, well, see, any, any, any market outside of the US is affected by the US dollar, really. And um, I mean, Bitcoin's, you know, omnipresent, really, isn't it, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> uh, so, but this is... This, this just kind of simplifies a lot of the, um, the moves in the market, I think. You know, not doesn't justify all of them, um, but it certainly gives 
a bit of practicality and logic uh, and something to work to to understand um, you know those those markets. So really, Bitcoin is kind of doing the opposite of this US dollar to a point, and there are many other markets. That's my point. Okay, so um, I'm just going to move this back over here. We don't need these here now. There's lots of other examples uh, you can find. Um, these are ones that we just use every day. So yeah, so when gold tops out, I think Bitcoin will top out and the US dollar will bottom out, that type of thing. So it's just something that we should be aware of. Now, I know that it looks a bit sort of silly looking at this as one and two and a very small third wave here and a fourth and then one, two, three, four, five. But, um, you know, I've done sillier things in my life and, uh, and I've seen silly things as well. So I, I think that we could just look for wave three, four, and five to finish off here and then have a, um, you know, it doesn't have to be a big correction. It'd just be something like that, you know, um, the 61.8%, we can just take it from here, 50, 60%. If we took it from, let's just go 34 here, close enough. It doesn't really matter. I can't really nail it there, but um, anyway, close enough. But you see that, you know, I mean, the 50, 60% is, is here. So it's a big deal. Um, but it's also a bit of a shakeout as well. So it's a bit of an opportunity. So I think it's something we'll just keep an eye on. And look, I could be totally wrong. And look, it wouldn't be the first time I'm wrong and I'm not going to cry over spilt milk. But my job is to, you know, find uh, uh, patterns and, uh, and then work those patterns. And then if we see a trading opportunity, well, then we'll move into that. So this particular move of one, two, three, four, five, it doesn't look, doesn't look right but it would fit with um it would fit with many other markets you know that's that's one thing all righty i'm just going to leave it at that and we'll just continue to monitor this and keep an eye on it all righty okay cheers